In order to set a, an IP, a static IP address on your phone, you're going to need to have access to your wireless router. Uh, now, whether you have an Airport uh, Express, Extreme, or some other brand like a Linksys or a Cisco, uh, you're going to have to figure out how to log into it. Most of them have a, a, an IP address like a 192.168.1.1 where you can log into it. Uh, some other of them have uh, a, a utilities, for instance, like Apple's routers all have all connect and get configured through airport utility, whether you're on a Mac or on a PC. Uh, so uh, for this demo, I'm going to show you guys how to do it with airport utility. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is open up airport utility and uh, make sure that you go into settings on your iPhone. Uh, and you're going to go into the general section. Okay, uh, it's kind of like towards the bottom, uh, towards the beginning of the screen. And you're going to go into the about. Okay, and when in the about, you're going to scroll down until you see Wi-Fi address. All right, so this section here, Wi-Fi address, that's the important part. Uh, you want to uh, make note of that because that's your Wi-Fi kind of physical address for your. Uh, for your iPhone. Alrighty, and the next thing you're going to do is go into the network tab on your uh, airport utility, and you're going to hit a pl uh, plus, and you're going to add the device. So I'm not going to add it because I already have my iPhone added here, but I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. So you can see I have my devices numbered one uh, two ten dot zero dot one dot two all the way through. Uh, 10.0.1.18. These are all my kind of devices in the house. Okay, and what I'm going to do is uh, go on my iPhone here and hit edit. And it, I have the description of the device. I have it reserved by MAC address. And then I have um, the IP address that I want it to have. So uh, once you have that, you're just going to hit save. I'm going to hit cancel right now because. I've already done this and I don't want to kind of save the change again because there hasn't really been any kind of change made. And now if you look at it, if I go back to my Wi-Fi here, you'll be able to see that my IP address is 10.0.1.16. So the kind of configuration worked successfully. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.